The first, as I've been suggesting, is the positive use of adversity. Don't be got down by hard times. Don't say, oh, I'm a victim. Oh, life is rough on me. Life is tough. Life kicks me in the teeth. What can I do? Stand up to adversity. See our problems as our opportunities. See our suffering as our opportunity to grow stronger. See setbacks as ways to go forward in a new way. See this economic crisis as the opportunity it is to redefine our lives, to reassess our values, to reset our moral compasses. The second principle of spiritual intelligence is self-awareness. We need to know who we are. What makes me get out of bed in the morning? What are my deepest values? What do I live for? What would I die for? What's worth fighting? What makes me want to get up and do things every day? And deeper than that, who am I really? Am I just this shallow ego self that is about getting and spending, buying things, going out, having fun with my friends? That's all good. Yes, I am that. But each of us is more than that. Each of us has a deeper self, a God within us, a spark of the sacred within us. And that's our true selves. And that's the self of which we must become aware and the self that we must serve. When I say, my life is my prayer, I don't mean I'm going to pray to some God on high. When I say, my life is my prayer, I mean I'm going to live a life in tune with my deep inner self, with my sacred self. I'm going to give my life as a gift to that God inside me. I'm going to make my life count. I'm going to make a difference. The third quality of spiritual intelligence is humility. We really need to be more humble. We are the most arrogant species on the planet. It's part of our tradition going back 5,000 years ago when the Bible tells us that the earth was made for us and we were given dominion over it. We're the top dogs. We're the important species. Everything is for us. We take from the planet because we want it. We take from the poor because they're there to serve us. We take from the animals because they're there for us to eat. We need to be more humble. We need to see that we are part of a larger world, part of a larger system. As individuals, we need to be more humble. We need to listen to each other. We need to listen to that voice within us. We need to recognize that my point of view is only one point of view, that others have their points of view, and that everybody has a respectable point of view. We must learn to listen. We must learn to be humble. The fourth quality of spiritual intelligence is compassion. The Latin word compassion means to feel with. It isn't just pity. It isn't just feeling sorry for people. It's feeling with people. I feel your pain as my pain. I feel your joy as my joy. I am not just my brother's keeper. I am my brother. I don't just care about the poor. I am the poor. I feel at one with everything and everyone and every living thing on this planet because they're all part of me. I was born 13 billion years ago when the Big Bang happened. I carry within me the evolution of the stars, the forces, the planets. I carry within me the evolution of all life on our earth, the amoeba, the crocodile, the lion, the frog, the monkey, they're all within me and I use them as I think. I feel my children breathing, suffering with their lungs to breathe fresh air. I feel myself struggling for fresh air in our polluted cities. I feel our earth struggling to breathe in all this pollution. 
I feel you, you are me, I am you. That is true compassion. The next principle of spiritual intelligence is to be vision and value-led. I said this is a great opportunity to reassess our values. Too much of our selfish, fear-ridden, greedy culture has been about I, me, and mine. We need to think more about we, us, and ours. We are in this together. We all sink or we all swim together. And we need values of serving one another. Values of responsibility to our families. Commitment to our relationships, to our jobs, to our communities, to our planet. Commitment to a sense of excellence. We've become, as I said, too fat, lazy, and stupid. We've forgotten a life lived for excellence. Excellence is a prime value for which each of us could live. Every one of us is capable of doing better than we do do. Ask of yourself the best that you can give, and then give it with all of your heart. This is the kind of values we need today. Values of service, values of fidelity, values of excellence. The next quality of spiritual intelligence is spontaneity. Spontaneity means living in the moment, living for now. Facing each problem is a new problem. It means dropping the baggage. Do this for a moment. Drop the baggage. Drop all the, come on, come on, shake your arms. Drop all that baggage. Get rid of that childhood conditioning. Get rid of those parental expectations. Get rid of all those prejudices, all those assumptions, all those things like I solved this problem before, so I'll solve it anew the next time. Drop the baggage. Live now, in this moment. Come freshly to every person, to every relationship, to every problem. Live now. The next principle is holism. Holism means that the world is an unbroken whole. As quantum physicists tell us, there is no such thing as separation in this world. I am a part of you, you are a part of me. The way I live my life is going to affect the way you live your life. If I break up my family, my neighbors are more likely to break up their families. If I am filled with negative motivations, I spread negativity throughout all my relationships, through my community. I spread poison, I spread cancer. But if I feel hope, if I want to be explorative, if I want to grasp the opportunities, if I feel I can do better, then I spread these attitudes throughout the community. I make others rise up, not push them down. There is no separation in this world between us and each other, between us and nature, between us and our beleaguered planet. We are all one. You look at yourselves at the moment and you see maybe a thousand bodies on a thousand different seats and you think, I am an individual. Well, yes, we are all individuals. But if you could look at this room through a quantum microscope, you would see that we are a vast interconnected field. Each of us is part of the one next to us and the one on the other side of the room. I am part of the other side of the universe. There is no such thing as separation. I can't afford to think of myself as an island. I am part of the whole. You are part of the whole. The next principle of spiritual intelligence is to ask deep, fundamental questions. Don't accept what they tell you. Don't do it just because someone says to do it. Ask why. Why should I do it the way you tell me? How does it work? Why does it have this outcome? Could it be different? Could it be better? You tell me you're the boss and you have the authority. Well, tell me why I should respect you. 